Hey guys, Mr. Zern here. Welcome back. All right, let's start to learn how to use SketchUp. So I'm just going to click on the link here I've got provided. Uh, I would do the same if I was you. It will probably take this a moment or two to spool up the first time. So hopefully it's not too painful as we sit here and watch because I'd already done it earlier in the hopes that this wouldn't take all day. But this is gonna spool up great. All right, here I am. So if you're asked to log in, just use your school login. Um, and then eventually I'm just gonna click create new. You've got some options. Uh, we'll just probably work in feet and inches because that's probably what you're most familiar with. All right, so here I am in my workspace. And the first thing I am going to do and you should do is delete this cowboy dude or dudette, whatever that is. I just clicked on it and hit delete. SketchUp is going to be a hundred thousand times easier to use if you have a mouse. So if you were at home, I would look around for a mouse. You probably have one somewhere. Just ask, ask your parents, say, do we have a mouse anywhere that I can use? If you're not already using one, it'll, it'll make all this clicking and all that a lot easier because those are the terms I'm going to be using, right clicking uh, and stuff like that. I think this is pretty challenging on a mouse pad. So I think again, ask at home. All right. So here is the layout. And so I'm going to be calling out some hot keys, which basically is a letter you can press on the keyboard to activate a certain tool. So for example, H, if I press the letter H, I get a hand and I can sort of just move the whole workspace around. I'm not moving the object. I'm sort of just moving my, you know, where the workspace is looking there. If I press O, I get orbit. And here I can kind of rotate the screen around and look at things from different perspectives. Okay, super. So let's get started here. So again, we're making this dice and I want to make a rectangle. And so you can probably guess what the hot key for that is, but it is an R. So I'm going to press R. And now this is where it gets a little trickier. It's a little different than where most people uh, in drawing programs are used to. So I'm going to click. And this basically just sort of gives me a start point. Like, all right, I'm going to click and I'm moving my mouse. I'm not clicking and dragging, all right? Not not clicking and dragging, just simply clicked and move my mouse, all right? And so it's saying, all right, hey, you want to make a rectangle? What size do you want to make it? So I just click and move my mouse, not click and drag. And you can see in the bottom right-hand corner right down here, uh, you can see where there's like five feet, eight feet, et cetera. So I'm going to put in the measurement. I'm not going to click in that box. The program automatically knows if I start typing that I, it wants the dimension. So I'm going to hit one, uh, excuse me, 12 comma 12. So I'm going to do 12 inches by 12 inches. All right. So if I hit enter, I've got this box. Now, some people will get a little worried because they're like, my box is so tiny or it's so huge. And it's all perspective. It's all just how zoomed in or zoomed out. I mean, are you? So I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't worry too much about, you know, any, any of, of that, like, you know, how, how small or big it is. It's all that zoom perspective. All right. So, so there we've got a box. Let me do that again real quick. I'm just going to delete that out. So uh, R, oops, R for rectangle. Going to just click, move my mouse, not clicking and dragging. And I'm going to type 12 comma 12. And that's going to give me a 12 inch by 12 inch square. All right. So, um, that's kind of boring. Let's give it some three dimension. So uh, in SketchUp, when we want to make things three dimensional, some pro programs call it extruding. Uh, in SketchUp, they call it push pull. And again, you can probably guess what the hot key is from push pull. So I'm going to press the P key on the keyboard, so the letter P. And I notice how it, my tool changed. I can click on that and I can go up or I can go down. So I can push or I can pull. So I want it to, I want to pull it. So I'm going to just move the mouse up. doesn't really matter how tall right now we can see it's like 12, uh, two feet, almost, uh, almost three feet. And I want it to simply be 12 inches tall. So I'm just going to type in 12. I don't need to click in that box and I'm going to click enter. All right. And we can see, I've got this cube. Now, if you want, this is where we can start to use H hand and you could kind of move, move that dice around the screen. I can press O for orbit and I can kind of you know, orbit around my design and see it from different angles and different perspectives. Another thing that I like to do is over here on the right, I've got all these various tools. I like to click the clapboard. 
says scenes on it. And I can just sort of snap it to a certain view. So there's sort of the isometric. I can snap it to the front. I can snap it to the roof. Again, these all kind of look the same because it's just a cube. Um, snap it to different angles of the house, which we'll get into in a moment. All right. So if you have a 12 by 12 by 12 cube like I have here, you finish this step and you're ready for the next video.